Hey, do you have to pay to go through this? Uh, yeah. How much is it? Uh, like forty to fifty dollars, something like that. How much? Forty to fifty, something like that. Forty to fifty? Yeah. You're kidding, right? No, it isn't. It lives. My King Song S22. It's been in pieces in my hobby room for a month. Uh, those of you that did not catch the live stream from, uh, when was that, Saturday night? Yeah, Saturday night. That's where I got it all back together. Thanks to um, uh, some uh, very welcome support from the chat in my live stream. Gave me some good tips. The, 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 the big save was using a clamp. I, uh, one of, um, I have some quick release clamps using the clamp on the opposite side of where I was trying to, to get the tire on with my hands, worked like a champ. So, um, didn't have to use any prying tools at all, which is amazing, right? All right, so it's, it's on the chilly side here, meaning temperatures in the 60s. So that's why I have the sweatshirt on. I have my, uh, my gear on underneath it. So yeah, no, I'm not riding without gear. Um, but we're going to be, I'm, I'm just wanting to buzz over to the, uh, the park and just see how the, the see how the, the rollers feel. See how everything feels, really. So that is the plan. And uh, let me get the helmet on and we'll get going. Here we go once again for those of you with a modern garage door opener. <laughs> Something I just learned uh, last week. If your garage door is already open, if you hit the enter key, I think actually any key actually. No, just the enter key actually. Enter key will close the door for you. There you go. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Um, I haven't done a night ride in a long time. I'm trying to think. Last time might have been when I took like the V10 out at night. A long time ago. So, and it's not ideal, you know, because, you know, daylight just seems like it would be better to test this out, but we'll see how it goes. So, are we on the front or the back? We're, it's dark, so you can't see shit. All right. So now remember, not only am I testing the My E-Wheels roller suspension, but I'm also testing the uh, Michelin Pilot Street 2 tire for the first time. So there are two uh, modifications that should make a significant difference to the way this wheel feels. So again, I would rather be in daylight, but I'm not. So we're just gonna deal with it. I have the uh, headlights pointed down to their maximum downward angle to not blind oncoming traffic. Unfortunately, that means I have a relatively short uh, field of vision here in front of me. So we're gonna be going slow until I can see better. Got some, uh, some street lights up ahead, so it should be a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna hit the sidewalk here, see how these transitions feel. Okay, suspension is definitely uh, smoother moving. I have to I have to look at what kind of rebound things I have in the shock. I I have no idea at this point. It's been quite a while. But because there's there's uh, so much less resistance in the sliding here, I, I definitely was going to have to rethink how I have this dialed in. Also, when I put it back together, I moved the dog bones uh, down a set of holes from the default high position. So that may not be ideal when you have this configuration. So. There's lots of tweaks I can do, but this will just give me a, a base starting point to work from. We'll see. Because like I got just, just hitting the uh, transitions here uh, from sidewalk to road, it kind of felt like I, uh, I might have bottomed it out, maybe. I can tell you just doing the standard uh, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy movement that everybody does when they first get a suspension wheel when you're going on flat territory, just to see what it feels like. That movement is way, uh, way easier than it used to be. That is without a question. Okay, look, you get to see the Christmas lights at night. The drive-through uh, Christmas display. I wonder if they let me do that on an EUC. Probably. As long as I paid, of course. But did I bring my phone? Shit, I didn't bring my phone with me. Oh well, not ideal. But I'll survive. Okay, the good news is, as far as I can tell, at least in, in the dark, it looks like the tire is spinning true. I don't see wobbles and stuff. Looks like it's centered pretty well, so that's, that's nice considering how hard I worked on that freaking tire. So let's, um, I don't know, let's see if I can get a feel for the tire first. All right, at least initially. I don't know. 
Also, it feels like um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's I'm feeling a little bit of a gyroscopic effect. It's probably just me getting used to it. <clears throat> this definitely feels different than the uh, the tire that the wheel comes with for sure. But I was expecting with it being a smooth road tire to feel pretty progressive to get out onto the edge. But I think I need to ride it some more before I, uh, I give a lot of feedback on it. Got the freaking looky loos. Looky loo. What's that guy riding there? Whoops. What's that guy riding over there? I don't know. I've never seen one of those before. to get a feel here feel what that edge feels like all right and how maneuverable are we yes the lights at the parker are still uh, largely um, not working which is annoying you know all the lights in the basketball court are out the there's like one or two lights on the pickleball courts that work and they've been out i think prior to, to the hurricane actually and they're still out uh, evidently, they're having issues getting things fixed. It's annoying. And high speed stop. No, well, not really high speed, but it's a stop at least. And this will sound stupid, but I don't really want to jump down a curb right now. And, and the reason when I tell you is stupid. So last week I played tons and tons of pickleball. And um, my knees are sore. My left one especially feels... Uh, feels uh, inflamed and because I'm doing the California ride this upcoming weekend I want my knees to be better so I don't want to do I don't want to do a curb drop that could that could uh, potentially aggravate me but the funny thing is is I think the, the reason that I injured myself primarily in pickleball wasn't necessarily from playing pickleball although that does always you know make my knee sore um, but I think it's because there were several times during all those hours of playing pickleball where the ball went out of our court across a a solid fence and instead of walking the long way i thought oh man i'm tall you know i got i got long legs i can jump i hurtled not hurtled but i i, I side jumped over the fence and and, and landed with a significant impact uh, on my legs <laughs> and transfer that impact to my knees i think that is why my knees uh, feel the way they do right now I think I will officially retire from uh, jumping fences and just go the long way and pick the damn ball up. Extreme! I mean, we can at least see how grass feels. Help. Definitely more forgiving than it used to be. That is clear. Without me doing any uh, tweaking or looking at the shock settings, definitely more forgiving, without a doubt. Good bounce. Good bounce for sure. So I am really looking forward to... Uh my trip to Los Angeles, leaving on uh, Saturday. Oh, I, shit, I forgot to say this on video. Guess what? I'm not going by myself. Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, we, we checked and, and there's actually still some flights or some seats available on my flights. And um, Carrie's gonna come with me, right? Awesome, huh? Yep, she's, uh, she's gonna come out there. She, she knows that, you know, I'm gonna be doing a lot of UC stuff and she's very good at entertaining herself. So she'll do that as needed. But um, yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be fun. I will have someone to keep me company out there. So yeah, it's good news, right? For me at least. All right, I'm getting a little, little more accustomed to the uh, to tire. This is the first time this, this Michelin Street Pilot is a very popular tire. Um, you know, for people that ride primarily hard surface, it's the first time I've had one. Getting the hang of it. Feels good to be back in the S22. It's been a long time. I haven't gone blazing flat, uh, blazing fast yet. Got into like the mid 40 kilometer range. So uh, what? 
mid to slightly get into upper 20s. Feels good, feels stable. As I, as I get more confident, I will try to push higher speeds on it. Just for the hell of it, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask uh, at this uh, this Christmas display if they would let me go through. I don't, have, I don't have my wallet on me, I don't have my phone, so I can't pay. But um, a wise man or woman, remember the gender specifically, but said, if you don't ask, the answer is always no, right? Good lesson to learn. All right, so let's see. Where's the entrance to this place? Hey, do you have to pay to go through this? Uh, yeah. How much is it? Uh, like forty to fifty dollars, something like that. How much? Forty to fifty. Like forty to fifty? Yeah. You're kidding, right? No, it isn't. Come on. All right, I'm gonna go ask him. Forty to fifty dollars. What kind of staff is that, man? They don't even know what the what the stuff costs. Okay, so they got, oh, $35, wow, okay. $35 to go through, wow. And more for a bus, all right, well, I don't think we're gonna go through. I'm not paying $35 to go through an electric unicycle. That's funny. Oh, it is nice. I don't know, I think, I think my reasonable limit would be 20 bucks for something like this. I think 35 is a little bit too much. Hello. 35 bucks. Jeez. <clears throat> Have fun in there. $35. All right. Well, maybe next time. It's 35. 35. 35. Thank you. Yep. I mean, it's a lot. I don't know. It's a pretty long course, but I mean, I don't know. 35 bucks. Of course, that did, that did take a hell of a lot of work to set up, I'm sure, right? That's, that looks like a lot of work. A lot of work. You know, the other thing I haven't done yet this year is, is uh, ride... Victoria Park, you know, see their, their, um, their crazy Christmas display since that place decorates so heavily. Um, yeah, shit, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. If I'll have a night this week I could do it, or I don't know. I got a lot going on. I gotta make sure I got all my ducks lined up for this trip, you know? All right, on the way back. We're getting, we're getting looky lewd. Looky loo, looky loo. Look at the weird dude on the single wheeled thing going relatively fast. It's crazy, right? Why do I have a feeling that I'm on somebody's phone right now? I have an eerie feeling. An eerie feeling. All right, back on the shoulder. Hey, how's that for some backlighting? How you doing? Um, okay, so I would call that that initial test run a success. The um, the roller bearings definitely feel uh, much more responsive than the stock the stock configuration. The Michelin um, Street Pilot or Pilot Street tire feels good. Um, evidently, I got the wheel back together correctly. <laughs> I didn't uh, eat shit, so that's always a good thing. And. Um, more testing will, will come. I'll be doing more, uh, more extensive, uh, more expensive, eh, can't talk, more extensive testing of the suspension. I uh, want to get back from California once I, I feel good. I feel I'm going to be pretty beat up after California. Um, so, but I will, I will give it a more thorough testing. But seat of the pants, it definitely feels uh, a lot better to me. Let's move you. Let's move you here. Hi. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for now. This will probably be my last video before I leave for California. I plan to take my uh, filming equipment, my laptop, and I'm not sure what exactly I'll get done out there, but I'll, be, I'll definitely be shooting footage. I'm sure other people will be uh, as well, as you can imagine. So if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. 
Uh, big thanks to my channel members. I, th well, I think I'm 17, 18 still, something like that. So big thanks to my channel members. And um, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Uh, what, do you, what do you think of all the shit I went through getting the tire on this wheel? Um, the roller suspension, I mean, the, doing the roller swap out really was not difficult at all compared to what I went through with the tire. So that was not hard. Um, and I learned a lot along the way. So that's the, life's all about learning, right? That's what they say. So that's all I have for now, guys. Talk to you soon. And until next time, duck me out. Elsa. Hello. Elsa, what are you here? Come here, Elsa. Look. Elsa, what do you think? The Christmas tree is at a different spot for the first time ever. What do you think? Do you approve? You do? Your tail's wagging? Okay. I like it.